Hi, I'm Grant Spencer, and I'm the instructor for Fundamentals of Programming uh, for this term. This term is going to be uh, completely asynchronous online, and, and uh, in my world, what that's going to mean is uh, I, I don't want to just do this through emails and texts. I want to uh, basically uh, do these uh, through uh, little videos. I'm modeling this a little bit more after Casera, Udemy, LinkedIn Learning. Uh, trying to keep the video short and, and, and concise. So the point of this video is to talk uh, a little bit about what I just did, what the course is about, and then a little bit about uh, who I am so you can get a, 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 a good sense as to who, you know, who's actually talking. And, um, and I will say it will become pretty apparent pretty quickly. I'm not a professional YouTube contributor. Uh, in fact, um, tell you what, let me just share my screen now. This seems to be a good segue. Uh, I am actually the, uh, uh, I shouldn't say the, but I am a manager of cloud data engineering at Blue Cross Blue Shield of Minnesota. And um, I do this for fun. Sometimes it's fun. Staring right now at my laptop's not as fun, but that's okay. Most of the time I teach uh, either blended or uh, completely uh, co-located uh, in-person classes. Uh, but you know, COVID. So what are you going to do? So um, as far as like what I actually do, I, you can see there, I basically manage a, a diverse team of a wide range of technical skills as we basically try to produce stuff that can be available on the data platform for other groups to actually uh, uh, use. Now, I do want to give a quick little rundown of, of this, just so you guys again get a better sense as to what I'm trying to accomplish here. So, uh, 1983 is when I, I did the uh, I did the first the first um, uh, program, all right. And uh, oops, that's going ahead. First program, and um, what happened actually in 1983 is that my parents actually bought a computer, and it was a VIC 20, which basically meant it had 20k of memory, which I'm still not sure how it did that. Um, that was the precursor to the Commodore 64, uh, which had 64K memory, and um, and that's actually what I did my entire college on. But anyway, 1983, I wrote my first uh, program. I actually wrote it in, in BASIC. And at that point, you know, there was no, obviously, well, the internet was around, but nothing even close to what it is now. And I had to learn all of that uh, from a book. Also, there were no classes uh, in college, or sorry, I'm sorry, in high school about this. Um, so anyway, there you go. So I basically learned it the uh, good old fashioned way from a book. I went to, um, I did my undergrad in the University of Winnipeg. And I will say that my professor, my computer professor was a little less than desirable because that person basically said to me, Grant, don't waste your life on computers. I'm not sure if that person just didn't see that I had the aptitude for it or or what. And to be honest, when I went to uh, my undergrad, I didn't really know what I was going to do anyway. So uh, it was a fair, it was a fair assessment. So uh, however, because of that, I didn't go into computers. Like I popped out with a Bachelor of Arts in Administrative Studies, which effectively just basically means nothing. So uh, business, I suppose, is what it means. And um, that professor's uh, advice to me cost me about three years of my career. So I'm very cognizant of what one wrong professor or instructor can actually uh, uh, do to someone's career. Anyway, uh, 1989 was at that point the greatest recession since the Great Depression. Of course, we've had many, many worse ones since. So there was really nothing going on. I, I uh, couldn't get a job. I was basically unemployed. And I was... Um, uh, at this point on my Commodore 64. Anyway, uh, I took a class that was basically Excel. It was, there was no Excel then, but that's basically what it was. It was a spreadsheet class. And I show up uh, and that instructor, um, I, I had a degree. I figured, you know, how hard can this be? And um, I, I didn't have the prereq. I didn't have the book and I didn't have the floppy disk, which is what we needed at, the, at that time. And that instructor tore me a new one in front of everybody. And I was both embarrassed and angry uh, and broke, by the way, because of course I spent money on that course. So, um, but what, you know what I had? I had a lot of time. So I spent all that week finding out what the prereq was and then going through that book. The prereq, by the way, was DOS, for those of you that know what that is, Disk Operating System. 
And so I went and I learned a ton of DOS. And then obviously I had the textbook and I got my floppy. Show up the next week, I was right on, on par with the class. I went home that week and then uh, spent another week, this time now going on the actual material and my little floppy, again, just run stuff and see what it does. <coughs> and so from there, I, um, I came out ahead. And so by the third week, I was actually quite far ahead. I was about halfway through the course. And the professor, um, this you know, grumpy, crusty old guy, and I say old guy because I think he's probably about my age now. But anyway, uh, he called me Turbo after that. And that Turbo is the little button that we used to have on old computers to make it run faster. So anyway, um, that was really cool. And I uh, and he also at one point took me aside and says, why don't you do computer stuff? So in 1990, I entered into something very much uh, like here. I basically entered into Red River Community College, kind of like a combination of Normandale and Hennepin Tech or Dakota Tech. And, uh, and I came out of that with a diploma in the computer analyst programming. And uh, I did manage to get a job and then life was great. We'll talk more about those jobs as, as we go on through time. Eventually, um, I got recruited to come down to the United States. Everyone around me in the United States had comp sci degrees. I was feeling a little, you know, a little inferior. So I went off and I got a master's of science in, uh, in, in software engineering with a data management concentration. I got that at uh, St. Thomas. And then, uh, and then much later, I ended up popping off with another master's, uh, in this case, a master's of divinity, which has got nothing to do with the software. So I bring all that up to tell you guys that I have nearly as much post-secondary education as I had, you know, through grade 12. And a lot of that was done um, the way you guys are doing it, basically on my uh, after hours and, um, uh, after hours and, and sometimes pretty, uh, pretty um, solitary. So I do appreciate the, uh, you know, the drive that, that, uh, that you guys have to do these courses. I appreciate the challenges you have to do these courses. Um, a lot of this stuff, certainly the ma both masters were done while I had uh, family in the house and a uh, young family at that. So I appreciate that. I try to make, uh, make sure that um, this course will be valuable uh, for you um, and will reward you for your time. I am um, at Hennepin Tech. I've been basically teaching uh, these classes. Some of them aren't offered anymore. Some of them are actually now uh, done by other instructors, which is fine because I'm adjunct. So full-time faculty should obviously get the classes. I also teach at Dakota Technical College um, and I teach database uh, stuff there. So that's all I really want to say about this particular um, oh, video. Oh, oh, other than to say that um, I, I'm going to talk about this in a slightly different way in the next video, but um, I definitely have been using a lot of different uh, languages. And uh, uh, you can see here back uh, again in 83, that's where I was uh, I, I was doing basic. Basic has remained um, a language, I should know about remained, but it was a language for like a long time. But then um, eventually you can kind of see me starting to sort of do other languages. These are more programming languages. These are not uh, really, at least, I don't know. It's interesting. I, I would say that I actually know them, but I definitely have been exposed uh, to them. And then these aren't really languages. People don't program in HTML, I don't think. That's a judgment, but, but there you go. So um, the next video, I wanna actually show you something kind of cool about these. And then from there, we'll actually go uh, talk about the syllabus and then uh, the, first, uh, the first chapter. 